been joined live from Munich now by Siemens CEO Peter Loescher. Mr. Loescher, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us. Uh, so uh, you're raising your dividend. I mean, no doubt this will come as a relief uh, to many to many shareholders. Uh, will you be will you be continuing to focus on this going forward? Yes, indeed. Absolutely. It's a very strong signal to the marketplace that we are interested in the long-term investor in Siemens. We're increasing the dividend by 70 percent. We're bringing it to a new level. And you will, should expect uh, the same continuity of dividend policy what you have seen in the past. Now, you said that you'll stop giving margin goals for your divisions. What do you say to investors who might be worried about a loss of transparency in your reporting? Uh, it's exactly the opposite. But we have decided we are opening a new chapter of Siemens. We are clearly focused on growth, capital efficient, and profitable for the overall company. Now, you gave a clear goal for your sales of your green portfolio, 40 billion euros in sales by 2014. Can you give us a similar goal for the sales you plan to generate in emerging economies and the sales you plan to generate in your services business as well? In emerging economies, we have uh, already uh, almost a third of our global business in the emerging economies. Uh, as you can see from our earnings release, uh, we saw a very strong growth in 2010. We anticipate that this continues. And uh, we have more than 110,000 people in the, in the emerging economies. And we will continue to build on this fantastic platform. But we have further differentiate our business. And this will continue to be a very important growth story for Siemens going forward. How are prices developing? How are you going to fight increasing competition in emerging markets? We have a very clear program. We have a very strong footprint uh, there. We are in most of these countries since more than uh, 100 years. And uh, what we do is uh, we would like to even further foster our portfolio for the needs of the emerging economies, combining it with high tech and the right customer profile. Uh, in these markets. And if I can ask you what you have planned for Nokia Siemens Networks or NSN, is there a possibility that you might exit the joint venture earlier than 2013? Are you talking to any interested parties about that? We have a contract in place uh, till 2013, and we have uh, no intention uh, uh, to make any changes uh, to this. But uh, this is a Nokia managed company. And uh, we are open for any type of uh, opportunities uh, which are value enhancing for Siemens. And, and very briefly, we're gearing up for the G20 summit in Seoul, as you well know. Just give me a little, give me your thoughts on the push to limit trade surpluses. Would you be concerned about the impact that would have on exporting countries like Germany and therefore companies like Siemens? I have a very particular viewpoint on this one. Uh, Germany's strength is based on its uh, excellent industrial base and its very strong uh, competitive uh, companies. And Siemens is the bellwater in this. And we will continue to be competitive based on innovation leadership. And this is really the hallmark of the uh, success of Germany in the world. And this will certainly continue. Peter Loesch, CEO of Siemens, thanks very much for joining us.